Welcome to the Kids Preventive Health video series in HealthQ channel. I am your host physiotherapist Meghna Dave and in today's video we are going to talk about spinal deformities that is present in kids. Spine is a very important structure of our body. This is made up of vertebrae bones which are stacked one above the other with the help of disc. Spine also have some normal curvatures which are designed in order to absorb the stress that comes to the spine as well as the spinal cord in our day-to-day -day life which could be following day-to-day -day activities of walking, jogging, running, whatever do, there is certain kind of stress that comes on the spine and this is absorbed with the help of these curvatures. Now, unfortunately, sometimes this curvatures of spine gets little abnormal leading to something called a spinal deformity which could be of different kinds. The common spinal deformities are of three kinds. One is something called as lordosis. Lordosis is where the curvature of the spine gets more deeper. For example, our neck or else the cervical spine and the back region which is also called as lumbar spine have an inward curvature. When lordosis happen, this curvature gets more deeper and is called as lordosis or else lordotic spine. Second kind of spinal deformity is called as kyphosis. In general terms, you can also name it as hunchback. But when kyphosis exists, this hunchback is much more severe and there could be diffusion of two vertebral bones. This hunchback, there is an increased spinal curve in your thoracic or its upper back region. Third kind of spinal deformity is called a scoliosis in which the spinal curvature becomes S-shaped when you look from the back side. Now this kind of deformities can happen in a child following birth, following injury or repeated trauma and sometimes it is idiopathic which means there is no known cause for development of this kind of abnormal spine curvature. So how you as a parent can recognize that your child's spine has got that abnormal curvature? Now some of the signs and symptoms exist that will tell you that your child might have abnormal curvature of spine. Your child if periodically experiences back pain or else some unknown areas of pain in the entire spine region that could be an indicator that some abnormal curvature of spine exists. You will also experience whenever a child stands straight he or she might have some uneven shoulder height which means one side of the shoulder might look little more high taller compared to the other side. If the head is not centered in the midline of the body that could be a sign of abnormal curvature of spine. Uneven waistline, tilted pelvis, breathing difficulties and walking difficulty are some of the signs and symptoms of abnormal spinal deformity. If this kind of things persist then this requires proper medical examination. The first and most foremost thing that is done in order to figure out the deformity in the spine is something called as postural examination which is mostly done by physiotherapists and doctors. Postural examination basically identifies the body's normal alignment. This alignment examination helps to figure out what kind of deformity exists. Apart from this, history taking physical examination and some diagnostic tests like x-ray, CT scan, MRI are common definitive or I'll say ways with which the spinal deformities can be identified. But now the question arises, what if the spinal deformity exists? Why it requires treatment? Now, your child might not complain any physical symptoms right now, but if the spinal deformity is gradually increasing, that might impact child's health and physical appearance sometime in future. For example, if the child is having hunched back posture or else if the kyphosis is increasing day by day, he or she will have drastic impact on their physical appearance reduce the confidence level of the child not only this it also impacts the overall physical well-being since whenever the hunchback posture increases the lung capacity also reduces which leads to breathing difficulty in future 
Secondly, if the lordotic posture is more common in your child, he is more prone to develop back pains. And sometimes some serious back issues like spondylosis or spondylolisthesis. The best way to manage the spinal deformity is early identification. Hence, it's very important that periodic checkup is done for your child. Do the postural assessment for the child. Also, make sure you look for the certain signs which were if the shoulder height doesn't seem equal on both the side if you see that the pelvis is tilted on one side or body is tilted on one side if you also think that the shoulders are more forward hung if you also feel that your child is walking in some abnormal pattern make sure you see your doctor as soon as possible coming to the possibilities of treatment Treatment basically depends on what is the severity of the spinal deformity that is present. If the spinal deformity is mild to minimal or as is detected in early age itself, just corrective braces are more than enough to correct the deformity and prevent its further development. Sometimes if the deformity has already developed but the child is young, then corrective braces along with exercises which includes stretching and strengthening program helps to correct this deformity very easily. But sometimes, unfortunately, the child develops spinal deformity in the late ages where he or she is nearing puberty. If the deformity has gone unnoticed, then also it could be too late for a child to just depend on the exercises to correct it. At that time, surgical intervention is required. Now, surgical intervention again depends and varies based on what kind of spinal deformity is there and to what extent or what severity it is. So friends, this was a brief about spinal deformities. I hope you find this piece of information helpful. If yes, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends and family members and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such health awareness videos because we release our videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. On that note, see you on another video.